Download it now. Real Radio 94.3, an iHeartRadio station. Ladies, check your weather from the CBS Fox Sports Factory Weather Center. We're going for partly cloudy skies today. Hot and humid. Late afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms lasting into the early evening. Then we'll fall back into the lower to middle 70s overnight tonight. Now, Monday and Tuesday, only the slight chance of an afternoon storm. Drier and hot highs in the lower 90s. From the CBS 12 Storm Track Center, I'm meteorologist Craig Gold for Real Radio. Real Radio 94.3. The following views are those of the host and not those of Clear Channel Broadcasting Licenses. Have you gone to the doctor recently because of pain throughout your body for which there seems to be no relief? Introducing Dr. Anthony Pinozzo. The Dr. Pinozzo Sports and Medicine Hour will bring you a new technique to resolve painful issues throughout the body. Dr. Pinozzo has worked with over 65,000 patients over 40 years and has developed a revolutionary approach to pain treatment. This treatment allows fast and effective treatment of pain without narcotics, surgery, and physical therapy. There is no manipulation or alternative approaches. Weight bearing and the return of normal range of motion without pain is the best kept secret this man has to deliver. So, get ready to call in and ask all of your painful questions and get the answers you've been looking for. Now, here's today's edition of Dr. Pinozzo's Sports and Medicine Hour. Good morning, South Florida. I hope everyone last week had a happy Father's Day. Hey, Freddie, how you doing? Doing good. Doing good, Larry. And we got Linda here who's making sure that Freddie and I do the right thing. And we got Dr. Pinoza. Doc, how you feeling? I'm feeling great today. Well, when you hear all the things that um, I researched today and didn't tell you about, because it's more fun when you don't know what I'm going to be talking about, <laughs> it makes life easy. <laughs> Doc. I was reading an article in, um, I took off the web, which was really exciting to me. It said that 40,000 golfers are injured each year, and pro golfers, uh, and pro golfers must sus sustain two injuries per year. And here are some of the injuries that the pro golfers uh, complain about. Elbow pains, knee pains, lower pains, and back pains. Now, you can cure all this. Yes. Well, you know what? Why are they not teaching these uh, the trainers how to help these uh, golfers? Well, uh, I have no Sad. idea. The uh, uh, professionals, PGA professionals, are stimulating uh, the chiropractic work. Why? They don't know any better. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I, but that's how I think. You know, you always hear the truth here. But, no, I you know, and and folks, I just want everyone to know that. I do these questions with uh, with Freddie a couple of days. Now, yeah, before. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you get uh, um, uh, a ray of hope there. Uh, uh, Joe Pace from uh, Carolina. Oh, Club. very well known guy. Uh, he he calls me all the time about the golfers that he has there, and they have these problems, and uh, we take care of them very successfully. But um, but our approach is not uh, uh, hit and skip like uh, with the surgeon mm -hmm. or um, the chiropractor. What we do is we uh, actually have people uh, swing the golf club so we could find out which part of the, uh, the uh, swing, the arc, uh, is painful. And then I translate that to the structure that's doing mm -hmm. it, and we treat that. Then we uh, repeat the, uh, uh, the filming of the golf swing. So on the uh, uh, the second uh, second go around, there is no pain there. Unbelievable. And uh, the patient will tell you, I have no pain. Well, you had pain before. I mean, well, I mean, I mean, and, and chiropractic can't do that. No. Well, it's a, it's a system. You have to, you know, have to develop over a lot of years. You have to develop these things, and uh, it's uh, it's all uh, cause related. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, if you can't produce a pain, you can't treat it. Uh, so that's what it is. And then uh, you have to know where these uh, pains originate, the structure. But that's all I've done all my life, and I know anatomy backwards and forwards. I just want to owe the new listeners that, you know, we seem to be getting new listeners every single week, which thank you, everyone, for listening and being concerned yeah. about this. But, you know, one of the things I always say, which is uh, that let your second opinion be your first, and, you know, call Dr. Pinoza. Let me give you the hotline, folks. It's 877-927-927. 6969, and you could actually tell Dr. Pinoza what your problem is, and he could hopefully give you a hand on getting better. Now, now getting back to the golf, uh, the only thing the, uh, the golf instructor can do for you 
is to change your swing to mm -hmm. accommodate the pain you're having. And that's not too good, is it? No. If you could take care of the pain, then your swing goes back to normal. Correct. Uh, like you were born. Like the, I, I mean, the younger, you, yeah, the, <laughs> the younger you are, the uh, better swing you get. I mean, like the 11-year-old girl golfer that's uh, now uh, hitting the ball <laughs> 200 yards? Well, just watch her go. I Unbelievable. Mean, uh, uh, as you get older and older, you get inhibited by other things, some discomfort. Mm -hmm. The instructors tell you, don't do this, don't do that. Um, a natural swing is really great. That, that's what I'm after. When we treat people, I want them to have a natural swing. I don't want to change it at all. And I think the beauty of it is we uh, they can go to Pinozo.tv anytime they want and see some of the photos. Am I right, Freddie, of all the all the golfers that he treated and show how it how, how it looked when they came in? The golfers, the golfers are there. We're just waiting to put the scoliosis. Scoliosis is our next thing. And, I, you know, I, I hate to – we do this all the time. We get calls right away. Talk to me a little about scoliosis because I'll tell you something, Doc. This is something that I, I, was, I was reading about these kids that are about four and five years old that fall from injuries sustained by playing football. Yeah, all, uh, all scoliosis is is a <clears> – <throat> the bone structure is off to the side either way. Mm -hmm. And if you wait long enough, it actually turns. Uh, and that's a natural thing because you, the weight bearing, remember the lower back right. is only this big of the bone structure. And you have everything above that has to be borne by these five bones. And uh, when you fall, they get out of line a little bit, and everything above it goes out of line, too. So uh, we'll watch my hands. No, you can watch your hands because <laughs> uh, you're know, see you're showing what it is. We didn't uh, bring the body today to show so, uh, that. I've been uh, studying this a long time. And, How um, many years, actually, you've been doing this? <laughs> no, we, they won't figure out your age. Don't worry. I haven't worked out. Uh, 45 plus 45 45 years. And you graduated Ohio State University, very prominent uh, school. 1959. Wow. Uh -huh. So I didn't mean to interrupt you, Doc, but there's a lot of new people coming. I wanted them to know that you're a graduate uh, yeah. from Ohio State University as a doctor. This is not something that you just woke up uh, one day and said, let me teach you how to hit a ball. Uh, no. Uh, also, you have to understand, when I say this works, it's been, uh, I prove it. In other words, before and after and um, the cause and effect. You have to understand how I do these things. These are, this is very scientific. Explain to me the cause and effect for those people. Uh, well, uh, if you can see, uh, if you bend forward and you have a pain there, all right, that's the cause, mm -hmm. and the effect is the pain in a pattern. Right, so pain Okay, pattern. so if you can correct that, then you can repeat the bend, and the pain's not there. Wow. Okay, so that's, that's how we do it. And um, uh, the examination is a special examination that I developed over a period of years. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even the questions that we ask uh, are all related to um, structure. Right. And um, so they're rather unique to, to, to my office. We, we've done all that without interference or mm -hmm. input from anybody else. You're the only one that does this, right? <clears> so if you're anyway, anyway, we don't ask, what is your pain, 1 to 10? We're not <laughs> interested in that. Yeah, we've heard that before, Frank, <laughs> some other doctors. 1 to no, 10, how's your pain? When you get it, not right. 1 to 10. I, I have something to ask you. Good. Okay. As yeah. you know, the Spurs defeated the Heat in the NBA Finals. Right. And a lot of people are asking whether or not they're going to sign Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. But it's really about the money. But right. my question is medical. Dwayne Wade could not jump as high as I've seen him jump oh, yeah, early in the season. Right. And he has bad needs, arthritis. Now, he's being treated by a world-known doctor for his knees. <laughs> and at the end of the season, <laughs> he couldn't elevate. Uh, yeah, I, that's right. I'm chuckling because we were just talking about that. Yeah, we were talking about his morning. office. You're right about the well-known doctor. world-class doctors. Yes. They're just as good as their last client. I mean, you just don't think that way. There is nobody who knows everything. But isn't it funny Even that me. If, if they were to seek another opinion, another form of treatment, yeah. then signing him shouldn't be a problem. He no. cannot elevate. If you it's look just, at the last uh, two well, games. You just have to look at his age. How old is he? He's 30. Oh, well, he should be able to be all right another 10 He should years. be able to hit the rim. Yeah, and he can't. You're right. No, I've we, noticed we that. Can't, we can't see these people. I have the treatments for him without surgery. We can't see them, though. We don't get the referrals from, from that group. If he would, uh, I, I promise him, if he's listening, that he would be, uh, he would be very happy with the result he gets. Well, Isn't NBA it funny that any person, forget about Dwayne. I mean, he's in a category in another space. But any person that has that kind of pain, 
and they won't come to see you. They would rather spend a lot more time and money seeing well, these Well, they're, uh, they're impressed with uh, the surgeons. You can't be impressed with the surgeons. Surgeons do a certain job, and that's what they do. The diagnostician, like me, we just diagnose the problem and cause and effect, the physiology of it, and how we're going to fix it. The surgeon sets you up for the surgery. You go in there, and he does his thing, and uh, you're out of there. Right. Now, who takes care of you? Nobody. It's a trainer or nobody. So, therefore, you have a limp. You, 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 you just don't do as well. I don't know of anybody, maybe you know, or uh, somebody else knows, anybody who's been operated in that class of person uh, who goes back to the same uh, uh, the same activity. Nobody. Nobody. And I can't think of any. No. Because so, Tiger Woods. So I, uh, but good example. So, uh, you know, they're throwing away their career by going to surgery. I think. Well, the the latest thing now, I had two friends that went to see other doctors that come to see you for a second opinion. Oh, yeah. The doctors now are saying, oh, no, no, we want to avoid surgery. That wasn't the case before. No. <laughs> this is why I laugh. Because the two friends of mine went and said, listen, the doctor says, we're going to avoid surgery. Mm -hmm. So the doctors are changing their tunes now, Doc. Huh? They're saying, let's avoid surgery all of a sudden. Let's go see chiropractors and all this. Yeah, because they're getting sued. A perfect example of that guy, Tim. I'll just give you his first name. He had gone for knee surgery. Right. And he was scheduled to do a second knee surgery. I said, why don't you come over and see Dr. Minozo? Can't hurry. He said, yeah, okay. He came over. Dr. Minozo looked at it, gave him, two sh uh, gave him two shots. He hasn't gone in for knee surgery. He feels fine. And he's a runner. So he said, and, he, and the funny part about it is that the knee that the doctor <laughs> did surgery on <laughs> hurts him. And he had the surgery, and the one that Dr. Pinoza gave him the two shots, it's fine. But and if anyone doesn't believe me, I'll give you the, the guy you can call the, him. Those shots were not inside the knee. Right. Remember, all the pain of the knee is outside, not inside. Mm -hmm. So when you have a, uh, how do they call it, torn meniscus? That's baloney. Torn meniscus. Yeah, that's the a new word. <laughs> can't, you can't tear a flat cartilage. It's flat like this. Can you see flat? <laughs> No, I mean, it's amazing. How do you get it and rip it like that? You can't. There's no way to do it. And we, I have a, I, oh, somebody is calling us out. I'll wait until they get the call and then. Um, well, the uh, other I'll thing, see. Doc, is I love when they say, oh, I'm going to go have an MRI. Yeah. And I said, an MRI? Why don't you have a CIA? It's the same difference. <laughs> Someone hung up a <laughs> MRIs are read by people who don't do anything uh, as far as treatments go. And they think they're the experts. I'm going to tell you they're not. MRI is the worst thing you can get for a knee or a shoulder. Or a back. Well, a back, at least they can see if there's a cancer right. there. That's oh, how yeah, I that's use true. it. Yeah. If there's no cancer there, then right. I know. Is that what the MRI is good for, tumors? Finding a tumor in the yeah, knee? Yeah, it'll find anything, really. It's, it's how you interpret it. You see, the, the whole thing is how do you read these things? And the, uh, um, I don't know where the radiologists get their training for this. I suppose it, they're pretty good at it, but. I can't use it because my approach is different. Right. My approach is cause and effect. Right. Not what they're reading as um, stenosis. That doesn't mean anything. The, a lot of these are buzzwords. And people call me up on the phone. They say, can you treat stenosis? I mean, I what said, is stenosis? I said, stenosis of what? You know? I, yeah, I don't even know. What is, steno what is stenosis? They, people carry these terms around with them, and they really don't have any meaning. It means a sub in the old days it was a subluxation. One bone slipped into the other. Crooked. That's wow. it. Wow. So that's treatable because if it's scar tissue there, we can mobilize that and make it straight. No problem at all. It's amazing, isn't it? But you see, the, the buzzwords out there are like um, herniated disc. That's a buzzword. You don't know what that means. It never happens. No, I never knew uh, what it meant. A bulging disc. Bulging disc. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Well, they have diagrams. They show how the disc is bulging. <laughs> right. And they say, this is what it is. Go up for surgery. We'll fix it. We'll, we'll take... But see, those terms mean nothing to me because we have special films we do. We have special exam and history we do. Mm -hmm. So we know where that pain is. Right. And when I offer to you less, I'll say, you take two shots. You're going to walk out of here pain-free today. Do you want them? And if you say no. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. If you say yes, that's what happens. Well, Doc, let's talk about bulging discs. Yeah. In, in, in your experience, I'm sure you've had people come and say, Doc, I have a bulging disc. And when you look at it, what do you see? 
I don't see anything. We don't even uh, know that term. We don't use it at all. The concept is wrong. Our sign is what it is. If it's bulging, why is it bulging? That's a good question. See, they don't tell you it's bulging on the right, bulging on the left. So if it's bulging on the right, that means the left side is stuck. That's what that means to me. But see, it doesn't have any meaning when we do our thing. Uh, we're so far advanced from this, you know. It's just, yeah. In a couple of shots, you can remove the inflammation yeah, and we therefore do, take yeah. the pain? Yeah, well, yeah. you're a prime example. No, no, I understand. I'm trying to lead into it. In the street at, <laughs> were you dancing in the street? Yeah, I mean, I was got hit by a freaking car when I was going to the restaurant after he got his two shots. Well, you know what? It gets me angry when I have conversations with people and they tell me, no, you're lying. I'm lying. Yeah. I couldn't walk. I couldn't work. You're one of the most lying? honest guys I've ever met. Why would you lie? I mean, that's <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's and I've told dumb. people, listen, I'll go in there with you and hold your hand <laughs> and I'll take pictures because the lady with scoliosis from England, I was blown away. Doc, oh. I didn't recognize her. Unbelievable. I swear to God, I didn't know who she was in the waiting room. And she says, hi, Freddie. I went, holy mackerel. And Linda told me, that's her. And I you said, mean the day she was leaving? The day she was leaving. Oh, yeah. She had she makeup was all on. She was up, walking yeah. straight. Yeah. But this is a lady that went to one of the, the, top, the top schools, I'm sorry, the top hospitals in England, because I was talking to her son, and they said, oh, we got to put rods in. I know. Can you imagine? And, and yeah, the lady, ladies and gentlemen, listen, this scoliosis treatment <sighs> we do is absolutely world class. And it works. I guarantee you, you're going to see it on the screen. A turn in two, three minutes. And there's no you lying. You see it. You actually see I it. I have film of it. Yeah, we have film of that. We have x-rays. You know, that's what we're trying to bring out. You know what? Well, I think Dr. Pinoza taught me, whatever he has, if it doesn't work, it doesn't hurt you. It's not like you go in for something and, the, and, and you come out with a lot of pain and the doctor says, well, that's part of, you know, the surgery oh, no. to have pain. No, You're either going to be cured. All. And you, you yourself said to me, if you can't cure that person, you'll tell them what to do. I mean, you're an honest guy. You're not, you don't want it. Uh, no, uh, uh, I make my living by having a great reputation. And so the lawsuits, that, they have so to that, have me 78,000 so people. That, that's, how, <laughs> that's how you do it. You uh, do good service. You're very honest with people, and they love it. They, they really uh, cherish you after a while. So what well, Freddie, getting back to what Frey said, which is really something about Dwayne Wade, uh, is that the reason why he's not jumping? Because he'll never be able to get that mobility well, after all the surgery? He'll tell you that he was jumping fine, but you can see it on Yeah, film. you're right. You, he doesn't he's not the escalating. Anymore. He wants to get up. Huh? Yeah, we would analyze that and examine the structures necessary for that. And uh, I'm sure he has knee pain. He's always wearing something on his shoulder. Oh, that brings me to that Tommy Copper baloney. Please. <laughs> I bought that. Yeah, everyone's was, bought that. I bought it, too. You bought it? Oh, before I, I knew it. you, I didn't know. It sounded like everyone's saying I put copper on my wrist and my wrist. You see, what they did was, remember in the old days, I told you the reason I wanted to help the golfers was because right. they were buying all these copper bracelet and those other things okay with the, tommy copper puts copper in the neoprene right which is there's nothing new here so if you want that's compression amazing. just wear right. something that's a size less and uh, compression doesn't do anything for right. you what, what the hell could that do except squeeze your muscles and then they have what's that new thing now doc they have that bracelet that uh, you put it on and is with a magnet and it's supposed to make you your swing better and all the guy and i'm watching all these golfers say your swing still sucks what's going on well it takes time hey, unless i saw you wearing those i never wore yeah those. i saw no, you so, wearing those yeah. You know, if you My wife would kill me if I ever put one of those bracelets on and spent $40 for you see, that. They'll do things like that. <laughs> and when you tell them to go see me and he'll fix you, they don't do it. Sweet, but at that so time. You, you, under, you understand the thinking process is not good. <laughs> well, wait. I think about that. There's something I saw on TV called the Cairo back. No. You no, got to no. hear this one, Freddy. A chiropractor came out with something called the Cairo back. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Cairo back. What the heck is the Cairo back? Well, uh, uh, it has a plate that you uh, put your back on, and it goes like this. It just, just moves back and forth, okay. And you can't do any good with that. Yeah, what does it do? Don't buy that. I'm, don't buy it. What to do instead, if you want to mobilize your back, just be, stand up, spread your legs a little bit, and put your hand straight down your thigh on each side, like that mm -hmm. and like that. And you'll loosen up your back, and over a period of days, if you do that, you're going to be very, very happy. We're going to take but a little break now. Don't do the Cairo bag. Oh, whatever people, this is the second time this is out, by the way. I know. Did I tell you that? Okay. Yeah, the people that are listening to Dr. Pinoza can see what he just did on the Pinoza.tv because you okay. can't see that over the radio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of minutes, folks. Stay tuned. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to this?
tough challenges in today's world but have no idea of how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is that they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars just to find out that those ideas don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carries advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. You're listening to Dr. Pinozo's Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you have constant pain and want to talk about how to get rid of it without surgery or medication, or simply want a second opinion, call Dr. Pinozo now at 1-877-927-6969 to get your pain issues resolved. And now, more of Dr. Pinozo's Sports and Medicine Hour. Let me give you that number again. The hotline is 877-927-6969. Now, by any chance, if you can't get in, after 12 o'clock, you can call Dr. Minoza <laughs> on his little cell phone, 561-381-5800. And don't be surprised if Dr. Minoza answers because he answers all calls. Now, Doc, you were going back about that Cairo chair when we, when we had to take a break. So that's something that they shouldn't waste the money on people. Oh, uh, no. Okay. What about that inversion thing I see on TV? That looks like it's going to pull your whole body out. Well, every time that guy uh, who developed it, or he yeah. didn't develop it, he makes it. I don't want to mention his name because we don't want to get into trouble. Talking about <laughs> nourishing of your disc, the disc is not living. You can't nourish it. it just, <laughs> yeah, but how does that bending? That bending's got to hurt. That, it pulls something apart. That means uh, well, that's the, that's the point, uh, that uh, if, uh, it, it could hurt you. Yeah, but not really because if it if it starts bothering you, you do less inversion, right? Right, because you control of it. Yeah. So uh, you know it's it's not the thing to do. If right. I uh, the point is, if you have a pain, you want to get it treated, and you're not going to get it treated like that. You need a diagnosis. Remember, you need a diagnosis and treatment and reevaluation. That's what you. you in yeah. fact, you helped me a lot, and I don't think you, I, I'm going to compliment you on that. I, I was telling you what I normally do when I go to the gym, and you said, just warm up your body, get on the treadmill. So I go to the gym, I do my walk on the treadmill, and my body's all warmed up, I start lifting my weights. Right. Um, yeah, we're good. getting calls, but for some reason it's getting hung up. I don't know, that's four calls already I've missed, so I'm just wondering if there's a, a problem with our system, because I don't want anyone the, uh, to think that we're not answering okay, our calls. Okay, we can talk about stretching as you figure that out. Okay. Uh, the stretching should not be done, actually. If you need to stretch or something physically wrong with you, you should have a treatment. Mm -hmm. So what you do is uh, warm up. So you do uh, push-ups, uh, sit-ups, go on a treadmill, do the dynamic stuff. Remember years ago they had the dynamic on every comic book. There was yep. a, the back of it was this. Charles Atlas. <laughs> Charles Atlas. Well, Herschel Walker. I mean, Herschel Walker did exactly what you said. Herschel Walker never lifted a weight. He would do sit-ups. Push-ups and chin-ups, and that's all he did. He wouldn't do yeah, any You have any to warm weights. up. Why do you do that now? Here's, here's the scientific thing. Ligaments uh, uh, stretch better when they're warm. They do less stretchability when they're cool. Mm -hmm. So wow. if your body temperature drops, like at 4.30 in the morning, that's your low temperature right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, then uh, uh, if you get up at that time, you might be a little stiff. So uh, what you do is you just do your warm-up exercises. I mean, these are exercises, push-ups, mm -hmm. sit-ups, treadmill, running, squats, that raise your body temperature, and then you go hit that ball like crazy. Because squats, squats, they say, is the best exercise to do because if you don't do squats, you can never build up your body because it's the biggest that? muscle in your body. Who says that? Uh, one of the trainers. No, not it's true? not true. Okay, good. I don't have to do push squats anymore. Push-ups is push your ups. best exercise. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, um, hey, here comes my guy, Corey. Corey, I'm getting phone calls, but um, they're hanging up on me. Before. 
Yeah, we're on the air. Uh, I just want to let you know who you are. We, we, <laughs> we, we, we invite everybody. <laughs> Say hi to Corey. <laughs> Corey's our everybody. engineer Corey, that makes sure everybody. that everything is going well. Doc, there's something you told me about when we were having coffee this morning. Doc and I always meet in the morning. We have coffee mm -hmm. and we talk about everything. Told me about a patient you saw in the in a wheelchair, and that, and it was just so amazing. You had to you had to give her two shots and tell yeah, me about that. It just made it made me almost cry. Eighty nine years old, uh, and uh, her son heard me on radio uh -huh. on this day on this program. I think, uh, if not uh, Leah. Leah, Leah's our uh, girl. Anyway, he brings her in in a wheelchair. He she was in a nursing home for three weeks, a re so called rehab center, mm -hmm. three weeks, in a wheelchair, painful all day long. I mean, she, this lady would drive you crazy. All this moaning. So uh, the son brings her in, and um, uh, I did the best I could. But I've seen so much of this that mm -hmm. I could pretty much figure out what she has. And I gave her um, the two shots in her back, and um, half the pain left. She said, I still have pain. I gave her two more. All the pain left. Wow. That, that. Now, her treatment at the so-called rehab center had nothing to do with the back. It had nothing to do with the pain. And all they did was the physical therapist would walk, uh, pick them up, walk them five feet, and then five feet back, and that's it. And tell that's what happened a, when you that's a treatment. When you told, what, when so you I ordered a, I ordered a treadmill, and because um, uh, uh, she's got to lose some weight and she's got to get out of that right. uh, place, she's got to, um, uh, and she had knee contractures from sitting so much. So I said, well, <clears throat> you take those out, uh, and uh, they were reluctant to do anything. You were the doctor. I mean, you got to we got to remember people read into what I'm saying that when you talk about rehab centers the, <clears throat> the physical therapists have uh, taken that term as their own. Mm -hmm. It was not that way when I was trained. I was a rehabilitationist, not them. And uh, remember they're like nurses. They have to take orders and so if you're not getting the treatments that you want, you got to complain. You got to do something about it. I mean, uh, they're getting paid huge amount of dollars you you got to be surprised uh, how much they get paid well i think that so I, I, I'm, this is an honest opinion of mine and i don't care if i get criticized uh, but you're right for, though for i talking, mean we, but yeah. I'm, I'm right i mean i have the experience of all these years plus this one lately right that was amazing uh, this lady wanted to rescind my order now you can't rescind a physician's order yeah, it's not against i mean the where do they get these ideas yeah. i mean uh i mean uh, really i was very upset I don't blame you because, uh, she, because this woman was not getting the proper treatment. So I said, well, um, if I see her this week, I'll do it the rest I can to get her out of there. She'd do mm -hmm. better at home. So, so rehab center, well, I, I know at one time you owned, you owned a bunch of nursing homes that you were involved in. Well, I designed and built right. uh, rehab centers. So we're not you, talking about something you, you're yeah. not, you don't have any knowledge about. No, and I think no. that's the main no, thing. No, I have the knowledge. Yeah. I was a medical director. Yeah. and. Uh, uh, we had a lot of good experiences there. Not only did we have empty beds all the time. Right now, you you can't get in these places because they're filled with people who don't improve. Amazing. And we had improvement. Uh, and uh, so, um, uh, what you're hearing is true. Uh, and we can back everything up. We have doc. We have X-rays to back. I mean, nothing. I mean, nothing is more uh, guaranteed than seeing an X-ray. Next question. Okay. Next question. I I, I want to ask you something about. Uh, these football injuries that a lot of players are having, they're saying the NCAA, 8.1 8 in 1,000 are happening every year from these uh, these college football players, and most of them are knees. What? what? Oh, football, knees. Yeah, knees. Knees, mm -hmm. knees are the, is the biggest problem. And when they come back, like you said, a lot of them are out for a year, and they can't be picked up by the NFL. They go into, like, the 15th round, and they're picked the last. So if these now is there a reason why they they can't see you? Is it, is it something that's contractual with the doctors that they must? Uh, well, I think that's what the coaches will let them do and uh, so forth. Uh, remember, there's a lot of bureaucracy on yeah, and all these things. You know, you get multi-million dollar player. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, that's the way it is. The the the, um, the owners of the teams are the ones that should wise up. Yeah, I mean, I mean this money they're paying, and then they can't, and the guy can't play. Remember uh, that they should remember this. You have a surgeon who is very good on, on surgery. Mm -hmm. Then you have a trainer who is trained to do certain treatments. Right. Okay? Who's in between to be to diagnose these problems right. and to follow them through? I mean, uh, to follow them through. You want a trainer to do it? You got to be. Uh, you know, please. <laughs> you know, it's funny because you said. I mean, Freddie. Freddie was a coach for many years, yeah. and you see the guy that gets hurt on his knee, and the trainer rushes out, and he starts playing with the leg. 
Now he, he starts moving the leg to the right. He starts moving the leg to the left. He picks it up. He puts yeah, it down. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't right. know what he's doing. Next question. Okay, we get some. A lot of people always write in. Uh, Mary from uh, Mary Jean, actually from Boynton, who's right around the corner. She says my rotator cuff is injured and my body does hurt. I've listened to your show for a couple of weeks, and my doctor told me that to rest, rest some more to bring my blood flow to the injured site. Is that the key? Does your procedure help with blood flow? I don't know what that means. doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah. That's just uh, obfuscation. Uh, <laughs> uh, rotator cuff uh, is diagnosed a lot, but it doesn't exist. Yeah, I know. We found that out. I'll tell you how to do that. Just hold your arm up like this when you go to the other one. Show it again so they can see it. So hold it right it. there. Push right. on it. If it's not painful, it's not a rotator cuff. Okay. Uh, that, that goes back to the guy we brought in uh, with tennis elbow. There's no such thing as tennis elbow. No. Because he got a pain. He got shot in his shoulder. He never came back, and he's playing tennis more than he ever did. So, folks, it's real. Uh, Alan from West Palm Beach, he said, My body hurts all over from playing sports for 18 years. I was a catcher and was told that the pain is part of the love of the game. Never heard that. I don't want to love anything with this much pain. How can I treat the pain in my hands and legs with you? You know, it's amazing with the, how the know-nothings always have a reason. <laughs> you, know, uh, you have to have a diagnosis right. and uh, then a treatment if you agree to it. Uh, but we, we treat all this stuff. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I guarantee it. Yeah. Ah, you hear that? Okay. That is something that you'll never hear any, any surgeon say, is I guarantee that if you have the surgery, you'll be right. okay. Or anybody. Right. And you're, or, or a chiropractor. You know, I just want people to understand, we have nothing against chiropractors. We have nothing against orthopedic surgeons. We're just trying to let everyone know that there is another way, and a way where you will never get hurt, and a way that won't affect anything, and it doesn't affect uh, taking drugs. Oh, by the way, no narcotics at Dr. Pinozo's office. So. No, 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 nothing at all. Uh, knowledge is not bad for you. Right. The more knowledge you have about your condition, the better off you're going to be. Remember, you're responsible for your body, not the not the surgeon, not the, the chiropractor, you know, not the insurance company. It's you. It's your body. I mean, I've had people say, "Well, since my insurance won't cover this, uh, well, I'm not going to do it." Your insurance is running your life. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's crazy. Well, to me, twenty percent of sixty-five thousand dollars is a lot of money, isn't it? Because that's what a normal uh, surgery costs in someone's back. $65,000 or 20% is right. a lot of money. And you got a scar there. So now you got to deal with that. And, you, and you're taking medications oh, for quite a long terrible. time. terrible. Stay away from that if you can, people. I'm, do, I'm telling you. From what I see. Ah, he has, I, I, I got a question before right. you get into that one. Perfect. Somebody has a, an injured arm. I'm not going to use rotator cuff or anything mm. like that. And they come to see you and there's no more pain. Does that mean that the arm is relieved? It's it free of injury? Can I go back on and pitch tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. If you don't have the pain, uh, you can do whatever you want. And it doesn't further injure the no. arm? No. Once it's not in my office, anyway. I he we treat these and we heal them. So, so, you, so that we cannot reproduce the history or the clinical exam. Remember, we're, we're testing all this all the time. I understand. When I tell you that we're going to cure this, I actually test for it. We know it's cured because you can do those things. So we take care of somebody's arm. He comes yeah. back the next day to the office. Yeah. We put less in the catcher's equipment, yeah. and we let him pitch at less, and he should be okay. <laughs> Why is everybody pitching at less? I can't hit a ball. Well, you know, if it hits you in the head, who cares? That might be but, better. But this is what we're saying. He can come back the next day, and he can pitch, and it will not extend any other injuries or anything else. Uh, no, you're absolutely right. That's uh, Once you're diagnosed, then it's treated. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Well, I'm going to tell you this I, message. I, I have people that uh, came back later and tell me that, uh, you know, uh, George Jones, you treated him the other day. <laughs> that day, he played 18 holes. Wow. I said, you mean he couldn't play before? No, he couldn't play before. So after my treatment, he played 18 holes. I mean, you can't believe this, can you? It is true. It is true. Well, then this message goes out to the Mets starting pitching staff who's lost four of their five starters to arm injury. Oh, yeah. And they're all on the DL. 
And Doc, all of them are getting either surgery or staying on the 68 DL? There is no surgery to do on that. I mean, that is, I, I think that's a fraud myself. Really? I mean, that's a, that's a that's strong term. That's millions term, of dollars. But, uh, going millions and millions of dollars are playing for these guys that can't play. Millions. You know how big the ACL is? I have no idea. I, oh, you showed it to me. It's about, about yeah. That big. It's about that's it? an inch that's and a half. And they're, they're saying that it does all that? No, it doesn't do anything. It just holds those bones together. That's all it does. Now, do they go in and tighten that? Who knows? I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> he doesn't know what they do. <laughs> and he doesn't care. <laughs> Isn't that strange? It is strange. All these years, people were led to believe one thing. That's because the orthopedic surgeons have that whole deal locked up within themselves. And they have uh, willing players like the uh, therapists and the chiropractors. You know, they... They're willing players for this, and they get them all operated, and nobody knows anything. I uh, looked into all that, and I, I uh, dare one to tell me what they do. In the that. cause and treatment of pain, <laughs> where the pain came from. Arthritis and other pain syndromes, that's the one you want. <laughs> Is that another book? We got another book coming out, don't we, Doc? <laughs> yes, we do. We got to start writing another book. Well... Uh, well, Freddie, take you for example. You, I mean, you were a coach. You coached uh, professional teams. And uh, do, could you imagine what would have happened if you had Dr. Pinoza there at the time with some of your players could play? You did, we, we, you did the same thing. Well, there the, was a doctor. You had to go. Yeah, well, the amazing thing is I also co coached kids that were five years to right. 12. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where I see the value of this man because mm -hmm. the young players, they shouldn't be playing. You know, their parents tell them, go out and play. And they shouldn't be playing because they have all sorts of injuries. Yeah, the, the well-run team will have someone that knows what he's doing. Examine each player before you. A hundred percent. And it uh, protects you as the coach, and it protects the kid. That's right. And you can pick up these curvatures in there. These are all treatable things, and uh, you give it... Uh, um, when you're talking about the professional players, who examines them? I mean, they could be hired at $20 million a year with a bad knee. So, <laughs> I mean, it's a down here spiral after that. Like Dan Marino was picked in, what, the 10th round because of his, his two knees? Yes. And he, he was never mobile. He was one of the most unmobile players out, one of the greatest passes that we'll, we'll ever see in the history of football, but he couldn't move. And the funny thing is that Dan Marino had the quickest release in the game. Do you oh. know why? He couldn't run. <laughs> so when you have a 400-pound animal coming to hit you, you got rid of the ball. Yeah. Well, he did uh, the right thing. Absolutely. Adjustment to the problem. Yeah. Exactly, but he didn't cure the problem. Right. Yeah. So it's like the golfers, Freddie. I mean, uh, the, the trainer adjusts the golfer, so instead of taking a full swing to get that torque that you always talk about. the uh, You have to remember, people should remember, that you're talking about, um, you're talking about the physics of weight-bearing. How does the body bear weight mm -hmm. on it? These small ligaments uh, are actually bear weight. And when you injure one, they're painful, so you can't do it. Uh, now, all you have to do is treat that. But you have to also treat the cause. And the cause is from the lower back all the way down through the hip, through the knee, through the foot. So it's a unit. Now, when we look at a knee, we're not looking at just the knee. We're looking at the whole unit from the lower back all the way down. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's a quality approach, and I know it's a quality approach, even though it's, I told myself, because the results are good. Well, we've seen people come in with uh, pay, uh, with ankle pain, and you watch the person walk, yeah. and you said, you don't have any pain in your ankle. She said, yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> and what happened? I mean, I, I, well, these stories I'd like you to tell. It's a unit again, yeah. from the lower back all the way right. down. Yeah. Gave her a shot in the lower back, and she has that a problem. Didn't have to go uh, to another doctor, and that uh, was amazing. We had people with uh, pain in the calf, mm -hmm. just the calf, and uh, it happened to be the lower back too. Right. No symptoms. They right. accept people accept uh, lower back pain uh, a lot. They do, and um, but uh, to me, the weight bearing the issue is is the thing. Uh, the pain pattern, when you get it, why, you, and then we figure out why you get it. So it's not a number we're looking for, a pain from 1 to 12. That's meaningless. It has nothing to do with anything. But we want to know, uh, want to know when you get the pain. Mm -hmm. Well, we so, have somebody about scoliosis. Sarah from Boca says, I'm a college student working on my master's degree, and I have scoliosis of the spine. I would love to go see you, but I'm, I am afraid I can't afford multiple visits. That would cost me to get my back straight. I've been told you're the best, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Wishing for a miracle in Boca. 
No, I guess the bottom line here is that depending on how serious her condition is, is the number of times she'll have to come back. Well, if... Um, it's been in suffering, well, as I say. This kind of person here, if, uh, if she would agree to be followed on film, I mean, then we could uh, help her out. Absolutely. You know. That's a good point, Les. Yeah. Sarah, if you're listening, come on down, Doc. I'll work a deal with you. Uh, yes, sir, and his number is 561-381-5800. It's, it's actually worth the, uh, the time. You're in Boca. He's not that far. Tell him where you are, Doc. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, very fast. Uh, we're on military trail mm -hmm. just uh, from the Delray Medical Center. There's a Walmart there. We're across the street Across the street from the Walmart. You can't miss it. Yeah. I mean, wow, would that be amazing if someone that's working on a master's degree could come see you? My God. Master's degree in what? Uh, she doesn't say. <laughs> She doesn't say. I mean, look at you. Look well, how much pain. I know you for so many years, and you were always in pain. Yeah. Always but, in pain. Well, ch changing gears, Doc, you know, I coach for over 20 years. If your kid is between the ages of 5 and 12, and he's going to play a sport, especially a contact sport, hockey, football, things of that nature, it just behooves you to come and see you. Yeah. Because you know how many kids I coach that had back pains, legs? They couldn't play. But they were out there because their parents says, what's wrong with you? Man up or strengthen yeah, up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, that's a good point you bring it up. The pediatricians are not trained for this. Exactly. Pediatricians are general practitioners for the, this age group. That's, that's right. what they are. So they depend on the surgeon. Okay. The surgeon's not going to find anything to operate, right? So where are you? In limbo. That's right. That's and where they, I come in. We, we, we're in that space between the surgeon and the uh, general practitioner. And all these kids that I coach, they had a clean bill of health from their regular doctors because they're not looking. They don't know how to examine for it. I mean, you have to know you know a lot of stuff for that, and you're not going to get it uh, without working with it the many years that I have. I mean, you're going to have to know where the pain is. You're, you're dealing with a lot of experience when I talk to you because um, and it's hard to get, and it's every day. And uh, we do our own films. We do our own history. We do. I don't have any... PAs or therapists around. I do all the work. And that's how you gain uh, knowledge. That's how you gain uh, expertise. You've got to do the work yourself. So you diagnose them. You, you do the x-ray yourself. You do this machine yourself. And, and, and you get the shot. We which do is everything. Way. Yeah, we do everything because I feel that, you know, basically it's a patient and me together trying to solve their problem. And we're not going to do it on third party. We're not going to do it with MRIs. We have right. to do it by a good history, a good clinical exam. And a good follow through. That's how you do it. And as the parents, you watch your kids. You want you know, your kids to be healthy. Early age is all about discipline, uh, getting them to stance yeah. and things of that nature. If you can't because you're in pain, you have to be honest. And I would highly recommend they come and see you because the bottom line is kids won't always express what's going on. You're a patient. Well, I, I was a patient, but at younger ages, kids yeah. that are between 6 and 12 playing tackle football. You know, first of all, the parents don't believe they're hurting that much. They never do. Not <laughs> my kid. But you can see <laughs> the change in development. But, but at least they, uh, you know, they had to have a rule that uh, these kids should be examined by a qualified physician to do it. Right. Exactly. Uh, not just anybody, but a, and the chiropractors are not qualified to do this, by the way. And if you're a coach, take that number down. And call this man and bring your team in. I tell you, it's going to be the best investments you've ever made. Me, being 20 years coaching, I've done them all the way to 40 years of age, uh -huh. people. Um, young kids will not express pain. They'll That's sort true. of stop playing. They, want to, they, don't want to, they don't want to show that they are giving it to the pain. They exactly. Want to keep. exactly. Well, um, we're going to take our last break of the day. And I'm letting you know that if you want to get in and talk to Dr. Pedels when we come back, the hotline is 877 Nine two seven six nine six nine, or at twelve o'clock, call and let that phone ring, and it'll pick it right up. Five six one three eight one fifty eight hundred. We'll see you in a minute. We welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming, as well as take productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. 
choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. Pain is the body's way of telling you something is wrong. Surgery can do more harm than good. Pills can become addictive. Dr. Pinozo uses engineer concepts and weight-bearing physics to resolve this pain and get you greater range of motion. Call today to resolve all those old excuses the medical profession has given you up to now. Call 1-877-927-6969. And now, let's get back to today's show. We are back. Uh, just to let everybody know that uh, Dr. Pinozo, Dr. Pinozo is here. And if you want to get in to talk to Dr. Pinozo, it's 877-927-6969. Oh, <laughs> Or because we're not getting the calls, I wonder if it's working. But. Or at 12 o'clock, you could call Dr. Pinozo at 561-381-5800. Getting back to uh, the sports industry, is we've got a, uh, something from uh, Brian from Boca. I've been told I have a torn ACL. <laughs> I have heard you explain how this is not a completely true statement. My wife doesn't believe it. Okay? There's she no doesn't, such, she, she doesn't, doesn't believe that he has a torn ACL. Good. <laughs> no, I oh. think I think the, I think if you finish reading it, she doesn't believe that Dr. Pinozo says there's no such uh, thing. My it? wife doesn't oh, believe doesn't that believe I said your I'm show right. explains how treatments aren't truthful. We will be listening today. Can you once more explain how a torn ACL is impossible, or that maybe what's being said isn't all that true? Oh, okay. ACL uh, does not uh, do anything except hold the femur and the tibia together. That's what it does. Okay. If it's ripped or you don't even have it, it doesn't matter because you have other ra or other ways to hold the bones together, and that is the ligament structure mm -hmm. outside the knee. That's where all the pain is, by the way. It's not uh, the ACL. It's not uh, cartilage. It's none of that. It's the ligament structure around the knee. Now, if this wife is so concerned, she ought to go to the library, get an anatomy book out, and read it. It's all there. Right. That's where I get it. Right. No, that, I mean, that's, that's a good point. This is not, I just saw it, Brian. I just want to yeah. let you know. Yeah, this, this is, is not, not made the, up. This I mean, is this is not, real. This is not proprietary information. Right. The, the method of treating it is... Uh, that's proprietary. Uh, I mean, uh, you have to have a license for that. But you can read it just like anybody else. Right. Don't, do not get operated for ACL. Huh. It's amazing. It's amazing. How many times do you read in the paper? The <laughs> it's amazing. Running back, getting ACL operation. That's all I ever see is ACL. I know, and now I'm finding out that you know, you don't need that kind of surgery. Why it, go in and take that surgery with a needle? And oop. it is absolutely ridiculous. I, I mean, I figured it out one day, and I said, "Well, this thing's in the middle of the knee. How would you even get to it? You got the whole knee has to be shattered before you can even get to it." Because the injury always takes place on the outside, right. not just, the inside. That's what I'm finding out. So uh, you can't get uh, what those are is patellar problems. Right. They're misdiagnosing them. They're patellar problems, and they're caused by their secondary issues. But mm -hmm. patellar problems are secondary, and they're caused by a contracture of the back of the knee, usually. So, Brian, I hope you heard that, and tell your wife to call. Dr. Pinoza will be more than happy to answer any question. Call on the hotline now at 877-927-6969 or after 12 at 561-381-5800. Uh, now, here's another one, Doc. This is from um, Jean at Point St. Lucie. She says, I play professional sports. I am not allowed to get treatment unless approved by the league. Two questions. Is your medicine a known drug? Well, let's take that one first. Is your medicine a known drug? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's your answer. It is. Well, it's a common steroid for uh, for inflammation and swelling. It's how used everywhere. It, how long does that last in the body? Uh, well, we use uh, the type that's short acting. So oh, okay. in four hours, half of it's gone. Nine hours, it's all gone. Wow. It does not accumulate. Oh, wow. It is, it is absolutely the best thing to do. It's the only thing I use on myself or my own family. I mean, we use nothing else. This is it. This is the best. And I could vouch for that because I've been I saw him when he had a back problem. His family was down yeah. giving him <laughs> shots. Yeah. Now here's the second question: How do you place the medicine in the affected area? In my condition, my lower back. 
Well, we use a, uh, first of all, you have to know where to put it. Right. And then uh, we use a um, uh, uh, CR, mm -hmm. a fluoroscope, right. uh, to locate it uh, exactly. And then uh, we got it just like that. Now, here, here, here's, a, here's a funny one. I know the answer in this one. Paul from Coconut Creek wants to know, how many visits does it take to help cure inflammation in the hip? I've been told that I would need a visit. I would have to visit you several times in order to remove all the pain. But I've been watching a show, and I've heard the stories that come in that some people with, with as little as one visit are improved. I know doctors want me to come back over and over and over again, but just saying you don't, that this is not true. So basically what he's saying is, how many visits are going to take? No, well, I don't think. well, we don't know because exactly. you're dealing with the capsule, which is the ligament structure that holds the uh, femur uh, to the pelvis. Mm -hmm. And it's big. It's, I mean, it's large. I mean, you can't see it, but if you go on uh, uh, the uh, inner... Uh, uh, TV. Yeah, yeah. Okay. TV. You don't even know your own TV <laughs> no, show. No, I, I was trying to say internet. <laughs> no. Anyway, it's about that big normally it's big. on a person. It's about six inches. And it's all around. Uh, it's a ligament structure. Right. And these are very tough ligaments. That's where the pain is. Mm -hmm. So what if you have just one strand of it bothering you? Sure, one shot will do it. Perfect. Well, what if you have a lot of it? You come in late. I mean, then it takes more than that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you get as good as you want to get in this kind of treatment. I mean, I mean if, you, if one or two visits will do it, that, that's, uh, that's it. We do not tell you to come back. Right. We tell you to come back if you have a pain. Right. We'll never turn you away if you have a pain. Right. And um, the treatments are progressive. You get as good as you want to get. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, you don't have to get operated. You're not going to lose your life. I mean, you don't take a bone like that and throw it away like the like they're doing. They replace those hips. Is that what they do? Oh uh, yeah, they take the hip out, throw it away, and, and put, put another a piece one. of piece of bone, a piece of steel in there, or whatever they put in there. And and what about the inflammation that comes from putting a piece of foreign steel in your body? Well, you don't have that uh, exactly that inflammation, but you have other parts, the muscles, the ligament structure that were moved around at the time. So those are all treatable. But um, uh, the replacement of uh, these um, uh, joints has to be rethought. I mean, it's too expensive and not really unnecessary. I do whatever is necessary. I mean, you have to have replace. I've told people to get, get them done. Right. I mean, They don't want to. That's no. why they're in my office. Right. Yeah. Well, so they have a choice if they want to go and replace yeah. the hip. You can always do a surgery, always. It's always available. But once it's done, you're done. You're All I know way. is I have a, somebody who I recommended <laughs> and somebody, and uh, he's had one uh, hip done. Asked him how he's doing. He says, he's in such pain, he doesn't know what to do. I said, okay. I said, why are you going for the second one? Uh, that's what my doctor said. So he will, according <laughs> to what I hear from him, he will never be the same. No. I mean, that pain is just... Uh, I mean, what do you what do you do? Oh, we got somebody we're holding. What you do us. is you cry. Yeah, the pain hurts so much. We got Madeline on the phone. Hi, Madeline. Let me say hello to Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Hello. Good morning. Good You're here morning, with Dr. Pinozo. Hi, Dr. Pinozo. Hi. I'm Madeline Garbarino, and um, I have myofascial pain syndrome. And I had it for like. 10 years now, and it's getting worse. I understand you do give injections and everything, and there's steroid injections. Is that what they are, doctor? Yeah, that's all there is for inflammation. That's a, it's a class of drug. Yeah. Okay, and when you give the, well, you know, I hate needles, so when you give the <laughs> needle, is it painful, or do you numb it first? Uh, what is your uh, problem? Myofascia pain syndrome in the back. No, that, back. Is, not, that is not a diagnosis. Wow. Oh, uh, really? And yeah. I have a bulging disc also. Yeah, that's not now. a diagnosis either. Yeah, we spoke about that. Yeah, we uh, we about just that. talked about all that. Yeah. You need a proper oh. diagnosis. If you come in, we'll take a history, do a clinical exam, do special films we do, and I'll tell you exactly what you have, and I'll put my finger right on it. And probably okay. that thing. And, yeah. and, and I'm a patient, and I've had shots done by the good doctor, and it takes 10 seconds, like a pinch. And it comes out. It isn't something that he keeps it in there and you're in agony for a half hour. That doesn't exist. A lot of people will tell you that, but that's not it at all. Oh, Madam, let me give okay. you his number. You can call right after the show and he'll be more than happy to. 
Thank you, God bless you all. Thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Um, it makes me laugh because there's another patient. She can't stand needles. Well, guess so what? I said, so let me get, let me get this right. They're gonna put you out. You're gonna be asleep. <laughs> They're gonna put a scalpel in your body. <laughs> They're going to cut you open like a fish. Right. You're going to sew you back up. You're going to be hurting for weeks just on that cut. Oh, and taking narcotics to just help you relieve the pain. And, and you're, and you're going to tell me you can't take a needle, but you'll take all the other stuff. I don't get it. I just I don't, don't get, get it. Though. I don't get it either. You know what I think it is? I, I think people are skeptical because they, they can't believe. And, I mean, for us to be talking, we've seen it. I mean, you film stuff. We've seen this thing work, and I that's think that's a, what the that, skeptical. That's belt. the thing that people have to understand. Yeah. Everything we talk about is true. Yes, I know it's, it's true. It's all I mean. been verified. I mean, we do this every day. Yeah. Um, these two gentlemen uh, came into my office very skeptical. In yes. Fact, yes. This one. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, by the way. I'm the, I'm the this one. <laughs> he came in, and uh, I hear this later. Uh, he came in there to uh, disprove me. Yeah. I yeah, did. He brought He's, me. I brought. Uh, yeah. Then he brought. He brought me. He says, "Yeah, get on that table. Let's see if we can yeah. help you." And <laughs> I, 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 I said, "This, this stuff is not. Po it's not possible that a doctor could cure somebody from migraine headaches or from back pain. It's impossible. They got to go for yeah. surgery." It, this is really true, uh, folks. I'm not kidding you. We're gonna have the guy on who, Doctor Pinoza, This, this young man, was in such severe pain. He came into the office. He couldn't even write down the information, Freddie, yeah. from migraines as long as he could remember. He went into Dr. Pinozo. He walked out with not a headache. Not a headache. And no, hasn't no. come back yet? Nope. No? No more headaches? No. Once we uh, put a little shot in there, it's a cure. And you found out, <laughs> which is even funny, you found, <laughs> the guy had TMJ. Also. Okay. <laughs> So instead of having to wear that, that $2,500 contraption in your mouth, which I don't know about you, but I couldn't sleep with that. I couldn't sleep with that contraption. And from, I heard, from what I heard is you could, uh, someone told me that what you do, and I was going to ask you that, I forgot, is that there are times that you could actually uh, help sleep apnea. Is that, is that possible? Well, it depends on what, the, uh, what it's uh, based on. Right. If it's based on obesity, no. No, right. If it's based on a back pain, yes. Uh, it just depends on what uh, what the cause is. That's amazing. So, folks, listen to me. Uh, we have someone calling in right now, and we're going to be ready to be hanging up. Well, let me see. Well, the I... amazing thing is that people say needle, needle, needles. But think about the alternative. Well, scalpel, they, they scalpel, 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 scalpel. Well, we well, get Dave before the show goes. Hold on, folks. They shouldn't try to interfere. Hey, Dave, how you truth. doing? I'm doing fine. I got Dr. Pinozo, and uh, we got a couple of minutes to so tell me what the problem is. Okay, I got C67, T3, L45, S12. Can you help me? Absolutely. How do you know you have that? Um, going to Dr. Theophilus. Oh, please don't mention any doctor's names on the phone. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Thank okay. you. We don't well, want you to get mad at us. You had an MRI, right? Um, three or four of them. Yeah. Three or four, okay. Well, the reason they do keep doing that because they don't know what to do for you. Well, yeah. so we don't get MRIs. If you want me to take a look at you, I'll give you an opinion. Just uh, call in tomorrow, make an appointment. Okay, I have pain that runs from my back down through my leg too. Ooh. Sure. Well, we'll take we'll take a history for you. You can hear it. If you hear it in his voice, I hear it. you're I hear in pain it in now, aren't you? you? Um, yeah, but I I just quit taking meds because I just don't want to get addicted to meds. No, what, you're good talking. Idea. That's good. You're That's my kind my kind of patient here, buddy. <laughs> so uh, let me let me give you his numbers. You can give him a call tomorrow at five six one three eight one. 5800 just tell me Dave who called in to you know, to find yeah. out what and believe me Dave yeah. you will be you you will be a statue for Dr. Pinozzi you, you'll be amazed Dave. yeah yeah but I've been through, I've been going through this for like 12 years well, well that's that's the common thing but remember what we do is not done by anybody else this is all new stuff new research new new everything take a chance what do you got to lose well say I've goodbye to the pain day surgery and it worked for about six months and surgery now. doesn't surgery work doesn't work doesn't work no, we don't do surgery by the way come on in dave we'll even All film right, it thanks very much dave and we'll even film it dave thank you i'm sorry but our time seems to be coming to an end if you want to call dr pinoza tomorrow it's five six one 381 5800 Dave, and I hope to see you there and, I, and get rid of all your pain. Folks, thank you very much for tuning into the Dr. Pinozo Show, and we will see you next Sunday.
This has been the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you spend five minutes with Dr. Pinozo, you'll see he genuinely enjoys helping others. Visit Dr. Pinozo online at www.paincentersnationwide.com or call him at 561-381-5800. Dr. Pinozo will consult with you to determine the best solution to your pain needs. 561-381-5800 is the number to call, even if it's just for a second opinion. Join Dr. Pinozo next week when he brings you more important information on the physics of weight-bearing and engineer concepts for the body. 94.3 Real Radio. WZZR. Riviera.